First, really appreciate you watching my videos. I found many audience had interest in knowing why there were so many adopt kids in Qing Imperial Palace. Why the Imperial women were not allowed to personally raise their biological kids. In this video, I will answer you questions. Again, my answer is my thought based on my views about the history. It's opinion. If you have other thoughts, welcome to write something in the comments. So everyone can see the different views and the normal. Wasn't allowed the imperial women to personally raise their bi biological kids. What's a Qing dynasty unique in the court rule? The core idea in here is to weak the relationship between the kids and their biological mother, especially the prince and their bi biological mother. If you know the whole Asian Chinese history, you know women were strictly excluded in political powers. Women were not allowed to take the imperial examinations and got positions in the court. So, theoretically, women had no chance to involve in the political battles. But we know many women did deeply influence the politics. Why this happened? I think one reason was in ancient time. In the society level, women's status was really low. But in a family, mother's status was high. In ancient time, especially after the Confucianism became the core ethical standards of the society, Asian Chinese were well educated to respect and obey their parents. This rule gave imperial women an opportunity to control or influence the emperor as the emperor's daughter. For example, in Han Dynasty, after the first emperor Liu Bang passed away, his empress Lü Zhi as an emperor's daughter totally controlled the court for 15 years. Lots of Liu royal clan members were killed by her. The emperor's daughter Dou influenced both the emperor Jing of Han and the emperor Wu of Han. In Tang dynasty, Wu Zetian completely controlled the court and became the female emperor during she was the emperor's daughter. In Song dynasty, there were totally 18 emperors, nine emperor's daughters run behind the curtain. In Ming Dynasty, the founding emperor Zhu Yanzhang tried his best to weak the emperor's daughter's political influence. So he regulated that the wife of the whole royal clan members was chosen from common families and strictly limited the political powers of the imperial women's families. In Ming Dynasty, no emperor's daughters ran behind the curtain, but they still influenced the politics. For example, in the Emperor Ying Zhong's time, his grandma, the, the Grand Empress Daughter Zhang, and his mother, the Empress Daughter Sun, played very important roles in political battles. One time came to Qing dynasty, especially the early time. The empress and the consorts had a strong family background. The Qing rulers worried those women involved in political battles as the empress daughter. So, started in Huang Taiji's time, the royal kids were separated from their biological mother after they were born. In daily life, the imperial women 
were not allowed to visit their kids. Generally, the imperial women only met their kids in some holiday celebrations. Another reason of separating the kids from their biological mother was Qing rulers worried about the biological mother spoiled the kids, so the prince lost their strong personalities and bravery. In Qing inner court, the imperial woman could adopt other kids, other consorts' kids. First. Only the imperial women, whose rank above Pin, the noble concubine, qualified to raise a kid. Lower rank concubines' kids must be adopted by high rank consorts. For example, when the emperor Yongzheng was born, his biological mother was only a lower rank concubine. Yongzheng was adopted. By Kangxi's imperial noble consort Tong, who was promoted to the empress one day before her death. Please pay attention. Here, Riz doesn't mean the high-rank consort could person personally take care of the kid. It only means the high-rank consort could ask her kid's conditions. And meet their kids in the holidays, but everything has exemptions. The Emperor Yongzheng once allowed his true love, the noble consort Nian, personally take care of her only surviving son Fu Hui until she passed away. In Qing Dynasty, I think there are three main reasons. Why Qing Ruyu family used this unique adoption rule? First, when kids lost their biological mother in young age, the emperor usually found a foster mother for his kids. For example, the emperor Xianfeng was raised by Daoguang's imperial noble consort Jing after Xianfeng's biological mother. The Empress Xiao Quancheng passed away. The second reason was adopted by the high-rank consort could help the prince increase the political powers. For example, the Emperor Yongzheng got lots of help from the imperial noble consort Tong's family when he battled with his brothers for Kangxi's throne. Third. The imperial, the emperor, used this special adoption rule to take care of his beloved consort, who didn't have kids after he passed away. For example, Qianlong arranged his noble consort Qing to raise his fifth son Yongyan, and raised and arranged consort Ying to raise his youngest son Yongling. In Qing Dynasty, the emperor also adopted some kids from royal clan. Most of the time, the emperor adopted some daughters and arranged them to have some political marriages. For example, the emperor Shunzhi had six biological daughters, but only one grew up, so he adopted three daughters. To arrange them to have political marriages, two of them were given the title of He Shuo Gongzhu, the Prince of the Second Rank, and married in Han Chinese prince family. One of them got Gu Lun Gongzhu, the First Rank Prince title, and was married with a Mongolian noble. The last officially recorded princess of Qing Dynasty was Gu Lun Rongshou Gongzhu, the Princess Rongshou of the first rank. She was the fourth daughter of the Empress Dowager Cixi. The Princess Rongshou's biological father was the Prince Gong of the first rank. The Prince Gong helped Cixi and Cixi. 
got the political powers back from from the eight region ministers to appreciate the Prince Gong. Cixi adopted his oldest daughter and broke rule of giving her daughter the first rank princess title. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon.